everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 274. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Dan. Good sell. Mr. Toast. The one and only. The one and only. Here on a regular episode, not a Toy Break Live, but a regular Toy Break episode. We're so excited to have you. Well, it's good to be here. Yay! All right, in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, events, interviews, artists, everything else we can bring you in said wonderful world of toys. Mm. Let us start, as we always do, by thanking our site sponsors, Yay. like 3D Retro, mm. Tomonosuke, Happy Panda Toys, Art Attack Toys, Suburban Vinyl, Outsmart Originals, Grumpy Bert, Vinyl Yay. Riot, Frombies. <laughs> Ragatomi, Button Lab, Super Power Collectibles, DKE Toys, and Victory Deluxe. Yay to our newest site a sponsor. New sponsor, new site sponsor. Yay, Victory Deluxe. All right, uh, we also have a few donations to thank people for. You do it. We have Terrence from Michigan, Mojo Diablo from Georgia, Sam from Wales, Janie or Johnny? Yanni. Uh, Yanni from Finland. Apologies for messing up your name. Carson from Missouri, Adam from Japan, Jillian from Canada, Richard from the UK, and Garrett from Texas. And Terrence put Michigan on the map. Nice. We didn't have Michigan? No, we didn't have Michigan. Wow. Michigan. Michigan's a big state. It is. So we have very little of the U.S. not purple now. Still no Idaho, though. No. All right. Well. This is an exciting episode right here. We Well, yeah, Dan's here. Besides Dan being here. No, and that's in, the most in, exciting. In addition is it Dan's to mustache? Dan being here. And in addition to Dan's <laughs> My mustache fabulous is here. mustache. Um, it's also contest winning time. What Ooh. contest would people be winning? The Teenage Mutant Ninja 2... <laughs> the what? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sewer playset. I oh started my god, a words. sewer playset. <laughs> so this thing All is right, enormous. So there were less contest entries than other things, but they had to prove that they had Ninja turtles. turtles. Yeah. So these people all officially have. They all officially have Ninja, Ninja turtles. turtles. Do you want to pick or do you want Dan to pick? I'm, I'm Dan not picking. Okay. I want nope, Dan to Dan's pick. picking. Oh. You're the guest. This is all up to you. Oh, oh, okay, good. if you could just reach in Sarah's box and pick a, <laughs> a winner. <laughs> Why does that sound a little dirty? <laughs> why Why is your mind in the gutter? Because <laughs> we're giving away a sewer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Who's the winner? Uh, the da, winner da, da, da. is... Is this a... Is That's this a name. E-R-O-K-26. Yay! E -R -O I'm going to call him... E-R-O-K. E-R-O-K? 26. E-R-O-K 26? Oh, Yay! Be... So Congratulations! I always said E-R-O-K. E-R-O-K. E it could also be a zero. I'm not now, really sure. Now, this... Out of nowhere, and just because I really like the picture, there's going to be a runner runner up prize. Runner up oh. prize. Because if this guy didn't win, I wanted him to get something. Uh, M W R is the person's name. Uh, M W R. You are going to get the 2012 limited edition Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Le Shadow Leonardo from Playmates from Ooh. Comic Con last year. Hopefully you don't already have um, it. Hopefully you don't already have it. If you do, well, Things then you have one to open. But. Your kid was really adorable in all of his Ninja Turtle goodness, and uh, I had to give that I had to give that picture a prize. So that one's See, going. See, sometimes out as well. George is feeling generous and just likes cute kids. So now you know how to pander to he the. You reminded me of the Sandcastle kid that hates sandcastles. <laughs> he loves that kid. Have you seen that kid? Oh, it's a video. It's a little meme that like it's a little kid like that little kid. Yes. And he's I got like a cute little one. Seen that. But this kid had Ninja yes. Turtles all around him, so he's getting an extra one. Cool. <laughs> Well, awesome. They should meme him up, I think. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Well, you know what happens when one contest ends? Another begins. So what is it, George? Today we have the, how do you say this? Calio Calliope? Calliope. Cal Calliope? That's how you spell Calliope? <laughs> that is how Jack you spell Calliope. Don't worry, English <laughs> isn't his first language. Hey, can't get everything right. <laughs> or anything. <laughs> Calliope Jackalope. <laughs> This is from Tomonosuke and Circus Posterus. And. Ooh, it's number 43 of 120. 
That's limited. You can win this mischievous <laughs> Kathy Olivas character by heading over to the contest section on the forum at toybreak.com and post a picture of yourself or a loved one in a dunce cap. Wait. And you can make the dunce cap or buy the dunce cap. Yeah, Wait, whatever. so you have to post a photo of yourself in, in a, a dunce, dunce cap. cap. Dunce to... cap. Oh, wow. You guys are making them work out there. Hey, That's not a, so hard. You can take a piece a cool, of paper and make a dunce cap. This is a cool toy. Well, I mean, yes. Number it's... 43 of 120. I mean, look at that. Mischievous. Sometimes we go easy with the contest and we let them win quite easily. I can sit on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Deadline is September 18th. <laughs> this thing's creeping me out. <laughs> All right, we're going to put that back in there. <laughs> Japanese vinyl. <laughs> You know you want it. Of course they do. Calliope. <laughs> is that is that like related to the jackalope? The Calliope? Calliope the jackalope? Jackalope. jackalope. It's a Calliope jackalope. What? Calliope jackalope. Then is it... If it's Calliope, is it jackalope? Is that... Wait, is that... Is Calliope with two L's? I think so. Calliope with one L. Well, what else would it be? Calliope jackalope. I'm going to get you, what was that John Ritter, where there's a will, there's a way? Where there's a, what was the thing where they teach you to read phonetics? John oh. Ritter? Yeah, on the, cause the infomercial. The TV, there was a old, yeah. uh, blah, 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 oh God, I'm never going to come up with the Where name. there's a will, there's an A, that's what it was. Yeah, it's one of those phonetics. Like reading rainbow kind of thing? No, like phonics or fun. Or... Phonics. phonics. Hooked on phonics? Hooked on, hooked on phonics. Hooked on phonics worked for me. That was it. Well, if yeah. I was hooked on phonics, that would be Calliope. <laughs> All right. Well, clearly you're not. You All know right. what I'm hooked on? What are we hooked on? Mr. Toast. Let's let's talk about Mr. Toast. We have some exciting things going on. We, not we, you have some exciting things going on. And you have exciting things that you just had going on. Yes. still happening. Yes. Tell us what's in the world, the universe, the imaginary world of Mr. Toast. Well. See how I worked that in? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> um, I'm doing a Kickstarter. Um. After following, you know, in the footsteps of uh, oh, OMF. Well, no, I mean, that's, <laughs> uh, you know, it's like you always want someone else to sort of, you know, go into, the, go, into Fail the, first. go into the dangerous waters first. And then, <laughs> then I could tread carefully behind them, you know, so, so as not to, to suffer horribly and, you know, be embarrassed and humiliated <laughs> if something goes horribly wrong. You know, I'm glad we could provide that for you. And so with, with the Kickstarter, we're doing it's to uh, do a new doll because I haven't done a new doll in a while. I always do like a exclusive doll for Comic Con, but I haven't done a since maybe the Leaf guy or the Popsicle. I don't even know popsicle, which one. Popsicle, I think. Was Popsicle? Yeah, probably the Popsicle. I think Popsicle. So the new guy we're doing is Vince. Yay! And he's a uh, he's a little. Uh, doo -doo -doo. He's a little Some of you may not know guy. what this is. It's, a, it's called a video cassette. It's what they had before uh, Blu-rays and DVDs and CDs and all those things. It went into a uh, went into a player and you could play movies. And then you, when you're done watching it, you take it out because you want to watch the next movie. You put it in a separate rewinder, and then you put well, a different one in to watch. If you were fancy schmancy, you had a lot of money. <laughs> you had a rewind. We just had, we had, a we just hit we had to watch movies constantly. We couldn't hit rewind. Wow. Okay. Dude, you don't waste him. those precious minutes of movie time by rewinding He's this one. He's so awesome. He's so happy. So the cool thing we're doing with the Kickstarter is he's going to go into like production. So I was like, we should do like a special doll where if you contribute 25 or more, you get the special doll. So it's of just going to be super limited. You know, I think we're at like about, I think we have about 80 backers right now, but some of those are sort of below the level. So if it ended today, we'd only be making 70 of these dolls. And that would be it. Whoa. Oh, nice. You know, so... So it, get it will, on there. It, it has the potential for being the most limited. I, I figure it'll probably be a little over 100, you know, by the end, I would guess. God, so cool. But, you know, it's it's going to be a pretty limited one. And so this one is the obsolete Vince. So since, uh, <laughs> since together. video cassettes aren't doing as well as they once <laughs> did, I, I figured we'd do the... Uh, the sort of dead video cassette. I don't know what you're talking about. You can still get these at Blockbuster Video, right? Uh, you can still no? find them at thrift stores. And they're, they're just <laughs> they're swap everywhere. Meets. Flea markets. And I think they're usually about a dollar. I love these because it's like actual cassette size. <laughs> yeah, I actually had one of the old cassettes boxes. You know, one of the you know slide-ins. For what movie? No, not a, not for a movie. For oh, okay. a, for like an old Maxell tape. I mean, oh, okay. you kind of folded him up. You could fit him right in there. So oh, that's he's awesome. a, he's a little too puffy when you cram him all the way in there. He kind of 
doesn't seat in the box perfectly, but... Uh, he might be one of my new favorite of your characters, and I'm a big fan blowing, of your characters. And the nice thing is he kind of sits up pretty good if there's not uh, fan blowing We do have him. a fan blowing on him. At this yeah. Time. Yeah. So, yeah. So, See, look. so check magic. out the Kickstarter. You can just go on Kickstarter and search Vince. That's his name, or search Dan Goodsell, or, or probably, toast. Probably if you just type toast, you can find it. Toast too. gets you there. It does yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, it's. it's <laughs> the, I found it. The kind of amazing thing about Kickstarter is there's a lot of things on there, but it's not an infinite amount. You know, it's not just you know, it's not yeah. like eBay where it's like 1.2 billion things on there. Right. It's yet. Yes. It's yes. still pr- it's still pretty limited, it's and the percentage of products that succeed and and technically you have raised enough funds, you will be funded. Yeah. So it's gonna happen. But, period. That, but you can still only get the obsolete events by pledging for the Kickstarter. So you still want to go support the Kickstarter. Yeah. If you want this guy, you're never going to be able to buy from me at a show. But this one, this the regular guy, events, we'll, we'll see him at shows for years to come, hopefully. For years to come. No, they're going to sell out immediately. What are you talking yeah, about? They will sell out immediately and we'll <laughs> discontinue those also. Oh, and, and these, these guys, each one will have like a little handmade tag. You know, nice. So they'll be signed and numbered. So you'll know exactly just, how many there are in the world. And I, I, the thing I like on your Kickstarter as well is you can get a drawing by you with the theme that they pick. Like, yeah. I, I think that's rad. And the prices are awesome. So I think that's really cool. Which like, I that's have, a cool level. I have done before personally from Dan, and I thoroughly recommend his work. Well, thank you. <laughs> There's multiple of your art hanging up in the studio. Here. I may so, have yes. some. There's some old ones and some, some new, new ones. ones. Some old There's and some, new. There's some over there in the other yes. room. <laughs> Yeah, we it, may be Mr. Toast fans. So it, it should be fun when people come in with their uh, with their ideas. Hopefully, uh, we can we can accommodate everyone. You can. And they're not too uh, the ideas. Are you kidding? Too, I've, uh, I've seen you do five hundred pictures for a show. And we're having an, I'm having another show at Gallery 98 in January. You are. So yes. Five hundred. Uh, I would think at least. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> do another 500? That's amazing. That's, that's, I'll be there that's and I will the buy one. That's what he does. That's so cool. That's what, that's what I do. Well, congratulations. Yeah. All right, so, Gallery 1988 in January. January. Kickstarter right now goes on until September 6th. Yes. So go get your obsolete And remember, events. pledge any time. Pledge now because you don't get charged until the very last September day 6th. at the very last second. When it ends, everybody gets charged. So if you're like, I don't have the money right now, but I'm going to have it before September 6th. Pledge now anyway. You don't it's get also charged until the bucks. end. Yeah, you get the two dollars for twenty-five, <laughs> including shipping. You're losing money you're if you Europe. don't get these. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> not sure, I'm not sure that logic works, but uh, no, it, do- yeah. Shh, it does. Mm-hmm. That's Aileen logic, right there. <laughs> <laughs> not so much logic. <laughs> All right, so you also have some other things that you have just released uh, recently. Well, we have the uh, the zombie bacon, which was our Comic Con exclusive. Which we still have some of those, and you can um, get those in my in my web store. Which I don't know what the name of it is. Web store, like the He-Man character web store. Oh, <laughs> He-Man! <laughs> I have to get in a He-Man reference. That's funny. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we all love He-Man. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Apparently not. He-Man is like you know when you really kind of look at the whole thing and that physique of his. <laughs> it's just like. Do you really want to be putting you know, little kids like looking at this thing? Well, how about Barbie? Like we could say that for almost any doll. Yeah, any but popular. Barbie has like cool fashions, and you know she's like, oh, math is hard. You know she teaches kids those important lessons. <laughs> the, the the new Barbie coming out is a pink spacesuit astronaut Barbie. That's the new career Barbie for this year. That's her new career. Pink spacesuit. So math is not so hard because apparently she made it to be an astronaut. I guess Sally is awesome. Sally Wright is happy. Now does he have Look at his little the wire? And brain. Oh, no, no, he's not a wiry no, one. No, no, I actually no. like it without the wire. Yeah, no, I would never put a wire in something. <laughs> this is terrifying. Look at his cool little Look brain. At his little brain yeah, I guess the brain. Somebody was telling me that they, um, it's done with silk screen, and they run the silk screen multiple times, and it builds up. Really. And gives you that sort of weird puffiness. Cause, oh, yeah, because cool. it's got the that's... fuzzy underneath, and then the yeah, like the matte puffy on top. Yeah, it's definitely the most uh, complex doll I've ever had made. Really? Did you yeah. have any uh, production issues with this one? No, no. Just complex. <laughs> Actually, uh, what well, I should have brought it with me, but when I was doing him, I took a shaky bacon and then I just painted him up, <laughs> you know, to sort of see where everything was gonna go, and then I used that as like the you know I just sent them photos of that as the prototype. That's, that's... awesome. He's got. 
it's bone hand and bone foot, like, instead yeah. of a foot. <laughs> I love that his teeth look like those old teeth that you got out of the, like, 25-cent machines, like the... Ooh. He was kind That's of That's a good one. He, was a, he and was a fun... You know what we didn't mention, and it applies for both of these plush as well as every plush that you do, is that they're really nice quality. They're, they're soft, but they also have one of my favorite things, which is, like, sort of mixed media, so it's got the embroidered patches and, like, different material, you know, throughout... Well, this one doesn't have so much different material. That one does. He has some but he, he's got the nice embroidery. This one more has the embroidery, yeah, the but it's all really clean. Yeah, they they do a damn good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, you know, it's like you're the, supposed to take credit for that and be like, yeah, I know, mine are no, awesome. No, it's it's just this magical thing of you know working with good companies over there that. That's true. They do they do really good jobs. That's experience and time, and that's why I tell everyone yes. work with a company that's done it before. <laughs> yes, and it's like the guy that does my dolls. He did. He did uh, Camila de Errico's dolls. Oh, yeah. He did Buff Monsters. His little guys. So he's beautiful. He's done a bunch of people's things and all good quality. All good quality, thankfully. That's awesome. So now we also have with the zombie shaky bacon. I see you have a couple more over here. Yes, brought a couple for you to sh- well, do with as you please. Maybe we could keep one for the studio and and share the wealth with the viewers. That would be fine with me. Would you like? Well, hey guys, do you want these? Would you like a couple zombie shaky bacons? Maybe you weren't at San Diego Comic Con. Dan here wants to just give them to you. That's that how awesome do? he is. That's what I want to do. Um, so, <laughs> right? Sure. Okay. Do you want to like build up a social network or something, or what does that mean? Like, do you want people to follow you on Facebook or no? Like you, you guys somewhere could just, just give do it on ours. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, so first two people. Uh, let's say, oh. let's say... We'll I love do, when he has a plan. Let's do I'll one. I'll say something and then he's, he's like, thinking, no, no. I have, no. A, I have an idea. <laughs> one will go to a YouTube viewer. This one. Uh, that one will go to a YouTube viewer. <laughs> that one. The good one. <laughs> okay. Um, so a YouTube viewer, the first, I, I guess maybe the first one that writes in, or the first one that comments... Makes a comment Yeah, that, saying, that comments saying that they want the shaky bacon. Okay. Um, so the first one that does that, we'll, we'll get. The, I think they we'll need to say, one. "I love shaky bacon." I love shaky bacon. Um, and then don't we all? I do. And then the second that person one. on the forum. So it's going to take cooperation from someone to get this. Oh! The second person on the forum that says they love shaky bacon. Okay. That's how you're going to get it. So the first person on the forum doesn't get, it, but the second person on the forum <laughs> exactly. Does. Isn't that <laughs> <he>? horrible? <laughs> So like you're no. first on there, you're like I'm the guy, and you're like no, you're not the guy. No, number you're the guy that's the helping guy. the guy. So go but and do. That you- means somebody owes you a favor. So YouTube number one is your best shot, <laughs> and then, then just hope that you can be fractionally after the first person. Because the first guy always gets it on the forum, so I want the second guy to get it this time. That poor second guy. <laughs> I was always runner up. <laughs> so but not this bad. time. This time not you're gonna get time. a zombie shaky bacon, courtesy. Of the man himself, Dan Goodsell. And Toy Break. Mostly Dan Goodsell. <laughs> and Toy Break. So thank you for bringing those. I see you also have a couple other goodies. I brought a couple other things, just a quick show and tell. We did, I, I brought the, uh, did I bring the painted one? I did, I did a hand-painted one, but we're also doing these kind of crazy clear ones. And I did a few of these. I want to eat it. Which I sold. Yeah, they look like candy. But we're, but Pretty and Plastic did these, and they've also mm. been, um, whenever they have like some extra resin or whatever they pour them into this mold and so they've got they're they're getting more and more of these crazy ones (laughs) which i think they're going to sell on their site but we might have some at decon too oh cool designer con you say Designer con and um and then i did this little custom little custom devil bacon where he's got some horns and he's painted different he's got a little tail on the back showed a little cute tail that i made he's got a little uh little uh pitchfork and so I'm going to do probably five or six of these for Decon. Oh, Fabulous. Cool. So. Can I see that one? Sure. So basically you need to come see you at a show to get yes. all the goodies. Yes. And talk to you and stroke the mustache. See the mustache? Well, who Maybe knows? Maybe you can take a picture with the mustache. I, I can't say I'll promise it'll still be here by Decon, <laughs> but there is a possibility. Or maybe we could do a whole shaving of the mustache at Decon on the second day. To, we know. could totally do that. <laughs> I have wouldn't. stage time ready. Are you, are stage you time. Stage. <laughs> Stage time. Now, I, let me ask a quick question about Decon. Yeah. Are you going to do that same... Are you going to have any excess, like, room that's not within the room to do panels no, and things? No, we're all within the room So you're going to do still. that one. You're going to still keep doing that room. We may the, expand the, a little... 
we're looking into options for the future, but generally uh, we will have uh, the stage because there will be a suckathon type event. You know, oh, okay. Suckload will be in attendance. We have uh, two we will stages have, actually. We're, we're cutting back to one stage because one we stage. do have the bridge from the Enterprise. Oh yeah. On display, so that's pretty exciting. So you can go take your picture on the bridge of the Enterprise. Oh wow, you take your picture. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that going to be a cool. charge for that? Nope. Is absolutely free. Yep. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah. The real the the guys that are in charge of it, new Starship, awesome people, very cool really a great project that they're working on we'll talk more about that on an upcoming episode but we will still we will have one stage we're kind of we will have other programming in the morning and you know suck lord will be doing his thing um we're not really focusing on being a panel type show just because Excuse we my want burping. people to come meet the artists we want people to come see what's going on like come talk to dan goodsell come Got talk it. to joy come talk to people like it is cool to have events going on like that. That's why we have the stage, but... It's not the focus. Not at this show. What do you guys think? What well, do you think? I, well, I was just thinking, since you are doing two days, there is a little more leeway to do panels and things like that. Yes. You know, where you, where you have some sort of focused... You know, because as the premier designer toy show in America... <laughs> you, you know, you can you can sort of focus your laser or whatever your interest level is on things that that people in the od- you know the audience won't sort of necessarily think they can see. So you can, you know, I mean, I, true. We we did. You know, I, I didn't see your panel at Comic Con, but you know, we Wendy put on her other. You can watch you know, it on YouTube. The other one, the uh, whatever her yes. panel was, and it was. Very interesting, I think, you know, and brought a bunch of diverse people together. You're only saying that because you were on it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. It was interesting, though. I actually thought you were one of the best speakers. Well, so did Everybody I. Everybody was wonderful. <laughs> Everybody was <laughs> very interesting, modest. but I really did enjoy hearing you speak on that panel. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, when you kind of can bring people together to sort of speak on a topic, you know, since you do have all of those people there in that room. I completely agree, and the... One of the main reasons, it's such a weird thing being an organizer and an, an attendee because sure. I, I hear the, the problems from both sides. Sure. But one of the things I hear from people when we have, um, you know, for shows that put things like panels in is that when they go to a panel, they then miss a release of something in the hall or they miss the artist signing or they miss the insert whatever thing is happening at a booth. And we were hoping that by keeping limited programming inside the hall, people could maybe go get their exclusive thing that they need whatever that is from whichever vendor, and they could still make it over to enjoy the panel and be, be part of it hmm. because it's in the same room. Hmm. That is a point. So there it's will a point. be, there will be not, things going there on There are on things the going on. There will it's be programming. Not like it's, it's not like there's going to be nothing to see. So there will be different things on Saturday and Sunday to yes. do. So come both days to see all the stuff. Absolutely. Or maybe just have a little more programming on Sunday when there's less releases going to be occurring, I would think. I don't That's know. also a good idea. You know? And I doubt Sucklord's going to do the same thing both days. You never know what he's going to do. You never know what he's going to do. So, yeah, and we're also, uh, as the show has obviously been growing, we are looking into, you know, expanding. Expanding how we can in the future. Secrets! expanding, just like the universe. (laughs) Yes, Decon is like the universe. Just like the universe. It's expanding. All right, well, you've got a lot going on and a show coming up in January. and. Designer Con coming up. Anything else you would like to, to mention before we move on? That's just, yeah, the uh, Kickstarter ends September 6th. So I don't know when this is airing. <laughs> but check it out. But check it out. <laughs> check it out. And would you also like to throw out your website and any uh, uh, Twitters or Instagrams or just anything? Just MrToast.com or uh, b- 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 what is my, actually I have it on my card. Is it all spelled out, M-I-S-T-E-R, or is it M-R? Toast. Miss M I S T E R, okay. and on Twitter I'm the Mr. Toast, Mr. Spelled that M I S T E R, and on Facebook I'm Miss I'm Mr. Toast twenty three, but Mr. Toast is just M R Toast twenty three. Why the twenty three? Is it from because like, there were twenty two other Mr. Toasts? <laughs> <laughs> no, twenty three is that uh, the what you call the know, magic number magic thing. Number things. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask, but I didn't think I'd be right. Yeah. Oh, it's look like at that. well, twenty three was always the number that they would use. If you like went to an apartment building, it'd be apartment twenty three. Oh, yeah. Like if you watch old movies, the, the B in twenty three, right? Oh wow, look at that! It is. Yeah, I think that's. I like that show. <laughs> yeah, a light just like 
Bing. Get why is that the number? Just... What's why was it always twenty three? I think that it was. Come on, you've looked up twenty three on Wikipedia before. No, have I? Ah, uh, I don't remember things. Did you? Yeah. Why is it always number? Oh, I don't know the reason, but there's like this whole. <laughs> Mytho- I Thank don't you. know. It was years ago. <laughs> you looked it up, right? I haven't looked. I'm just I look- saying it's everywhere. It's like yeah. there's mathematical formulas that like lead you back to 23. Wasn't like- there like a Jim Carrey movie about that? Yes. I never saw it. <laughs> like a sort of a was it a dopey? Uh, it was. Wait, is that the one where they they come and take his children at the end in the uh, spacecraft? Spoiler, spoiler alert! alert. <laughs> there's one of those some weird movie like or maybe that was a Nicolas Cage movie. But I think that was the Nicolas Cage movie. That, but that sounds more Nicolas Cagey. KG? I didn't see it. But I think right. I think they had it as the on doors, you know, as the apartment because it didn't denote being above the first floor, but it wasn't oh. like an you know apartment one. It was sort of, you know, an amorphous number, mm. but it wasn't too complex. Huh. That was my guess. That would be my. I'm gonna have to look this up. <laughs> I bet if you go to Wikipedia. I'm gonna go to Wikipedia right after we're done shooting this. <laughs> All right, let's move mm. on to some blind box time. Ooh. Do you guys know what time it is? Oh my god. When do we get Mr. Toast Blind Box? When do we get Mr. Toast Blind Box? Uh. Alright, so. I don't know. (laughs) I could do a Kickstarter for that, but that would be. That's after September 6th. That would be a lot of money. (laughs) Yeah. They could be plush. They could be tiny plush blind box. Yeah. That'd be adorable. Adorbs. I don't know. (laughs) Alright, well, today we have. Dude Box. Dude Box Most Wanted. Dude Dude Box Blind Box. Sounds like a Saturday morning commercial. I want the weird monkey looking one on the one side. Which one? Oh, oh, different he wants ones? This oh there's so many different ones. I want the purple faced one next to it. I want the orange one with the one eye. Wait, you want a All purple right. one? He's okay. got like a purple face. I picked a one in twenty one. Ugh. I picked a one in ten. I picked a one in twenty as I well. want the one in five hundred one. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely. Alright. You let's never see. know. Somebody's got to get it. Do you save all these boxes or do you throw them all away? Oh, boxes going. No, we don't keep boxes. The box? No, we throw the boxes. Who keeps boxes? Well, I mean, maybe you folded them down. I don't know. We actually used to. (laughs) See? We actually used to. It's not a bad question. (laughs) But there comes a point where you can't, you just can't keep every box. We have to read our literature. We have to read our literature. Does it come with a little trading card? It does. It does. Uh oh, you guys Love got the hate. same one. Did we get, uh, oh my god, did you get a different one? I did. Mine uh, is by Dust. Uh, DirtyDust.com. We got Alpha. No Dork. Number one Dork blog. Well, let's see Number which one, one it is. Blog, blog. We have to read all the literature oh. first. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. You can't open your present. No. I don't know how I feel about this one. Mine feels like the robot. The robot? There's no robot. That's like a robot. He's making. Oh, okay. Isn't it a robot? Oh, I thought it was like an evil bear. It has little robot feet. It's a robot. How do you get oh, into this thing? he does have robot feet. Ooh, there's no robot. I don't see a robot. Ooh. <laughs> That's my impression of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? It's got creepy chest hair. I got the... I got the number one in ten. I got the crazy landlord. Crazy landlord? Is that his name? Do they have names? I don't know, but I'm calling him crazy landlord. Looks like a crazy landlord. Not a, yeah. Now is that ketchup or blood on his shirt? It looks like a crazy suit. We got the same one. <laughs> Damn. And you got the criminal. I got he's the got criminal. back hair even. I think your guy's kind of a criminal too, to be fair. He, yeah, he's like. Uh, there, something about tattoos on this series. He's like Schneider on. Uh, uh, one, <laughs> one day, day at, at a time. time. <laughs> Do you remember how he rolled the cigarettes yeah, the up cigarette in his back. thing as kids? We were like, "What the hell? What does that mean?" He was the coolest. He was cool. <laughs> The printing is well done on here. It seems pretty darn clean. It's really nice. Especially because there's a lot of tiny lines. I he mean, has, there's like... He has a neck tattoo. Not a lot of toys have neck tattoos. Oh, yeah. Mine doesn't even have a neck. Well, well this mean, one... It's an, implied, it's an implied neck. <laughs> it's an implied neck. <laughs> Jeez. I like the hair. This kind of looks like a, a tattooed version of Gomez Adams. Yeah, there's a little Gomez Adams going on. He's got Switching. blood. I guess the one could thing... Could be ketchup. He could just be messy eater. The part I don't understand is why does he have Spider-Man logo on the back of his hair? <laughs> it's a really intricate dye job. That is weird. Why is that there? Oh. Is this Freedom. a sticker? Oh, weird. It's like a... Is it a sticker? It's like a 
uh, decal oh, that they painted over. Mm. That's weird. Freedom! Pay your rent or you'll die! I don't have a lot to say, but I guess they're not robot feet, by the way. They're tennis shoes. Oh, I guess they're shoes. They're like the they're big... They're not robot in theory. <laughs> that was my I'm first the, guest. Was that your, was that your dad? <laughs> I'm the guest. I'm not supposed to be made Wait, fun of. Wait, you started of? making fun of me. <laughs> yes, I'm the guest. You're hardly a guest. You've been on at least two hardly days. Hardly a guest. Hardly a guest. <laughs> at least two <laughs> days with my What, am I a co- and, co-host now? <laughs> and by the third time, your family. <laughs> can, can I can I change like my, my Facebook profile to Toy yes. Big Co-host? Yes. As my new job? Yes. It can at least say hardly a guest. Do you I know. Have, do you want it? <laughs> hardly <laughs> Toy Break, hardly a guest. That's all I get. Do you have to add you to a Toy Break work history? You know, I, I, on never, I never get called for Toy Girls. You know, like, when am I going to get Come called? Come on over to next week. Toy Girls. Uh, toy Girls. <laughs> That's how Toy Girls right. is like five minutes long. He's like, you like that? Toy Girls, boom! We're quick. Yeah. Sarah Joe and I have things to do. Thanks, Dude Box, for the blind box. Thank you. Thank you, Dude Box. All right, we have other things to review. Let's get into some reviews. First up, was- Pumpkin Crab. Actually, speaking of Kickstarter, this was exactly. a Kickstarter I backed. Oh, nice. Um, this is Pumpkin Crab by an artist named Jim McKenzie. It was a it's a resin figure that he basically funded through Kickstarter, the whole thing, wow. and it was just to raise money. Uh, by his by his standards, it was all all of the money raised was to go right into production. He wasn't like making a profit from this, and I kind of probably could see that exactly being the case because <laughs> oh that's kind of how it is on all of them. Um, and they also came with some stickers. Each each backer got stickers with it as well. Oh, that's a sticker. This was the original. Print. Yeah, that was the original it's painting. Original. That's a cute dog. Um, so is he, it a pug or a puggle? It's a puggle, I think. That's a totally a puggle. With a crown. King puggle. So that's the painting that this toy was based on, Jeez. or this art piece was based on. Is there going to so, be a second one of a pug? Puggle. I don't know. <laughs> So the painter is the is the creator of this also. Yes. So he had he did not sculpt this. He I had someone yeah, probably sculpt it for him. Based I would on imagine his somebody else sculpted it. I don't I don't remember off the Kickstarter itself. Would make sense. Someone but, with with these kind of painting skills would be quite incredible to have that kind of sculpting skills also. Yeah. It'd be a triple threat. Um, and but they all did or come double threat, signed and numbered. No, I got oh, so only thirty. 30. Got twenty nine out of thirty. Wow. I That's thought, like nothing. I thought I backed earlier than that, but apparently I got 29 out well, of 30. Well, <laughs> I'm sure it didn't go out in order. It got put in a box and you get what you get. The, actually, the oh. box that came was very much like a patched together box, like just that white. It was just a white box with styrofoam inside. With a bunch of broken styrofoam that because went everywhere. Think about that. I guess you should give the lower numbers to the earlier people. I'll have yeah, to remember to do that. probably do it in order whatever. or yeah, something. Yeah. So whoever that first, well, actually, I know exactly who that first person is. Nice. Justine. Oh, she thank you, will, Justine. Uh, Way yes. to go, Justine, being first. <laughs> Um, th- it was funny because this, because of these sharp, not so sharp, but sharp things, it basically was grinding the styrofoam. Oh my god! Yeah. So when it opened, it was just like this. Oh, so he really gr- <laughs> <laughs> like ground away into it. But you want know, to check it out? It's a very, it's a nice piece. It's pretty large, it w- and it was seventy dollars on Kickstarter, yeah. right? And then you can also check out uh, Jim McKenzie's work on uh, UrbanIndian.net. Oh, okay, cool. How can you do something this complex and only make thirty of them? Right. Like, amazing. You'd think there would be hundreds out there. And you could do different colors inside the pumpkin. So now something like this, you, the paint job would occur over at the fact... I mean, was this... I would imagine he had it painted somewhere else. I doubt he did all of them. I, I don't know. I don't really know much about... He could have. He could have done them himself. I mean, there were only 30. For Neil 70 does. bucks, I don't know if I would, like... It's wow. not a lot of money to do all that work. Well, think about Neil. Neil Wynn. Yeah. Uh, he sells at DesignerCon and... Uh, Comic Con, he paints all his own stuff. He does, and he hand, he sculpts, <laughs> molds, casts, and paints them all himself. Also, triple for threat. not much more than that. <laughs> Amazing. This is really a cool thing, and just what a weird like pumpkin crab. Yeah, I, that goes together. I thought it was a cool idea for it. Yeah, and I really liked his. Weird, his you painting backed something style. on Kickstarter. Yeah, strange that I did that. Yeah, um, he backs like everything. <laughs> I was looking at your guys' thing. It's like I think you have the whole rainbow. Do you have the whole yes. rainbow? That was one Wait, of my you got goals. it. That was, was one, one of your goals. goals. I will have the whole. Rainbow. We I wanted the rainbow. I wanted the Trivial Pursuit pie to be full. Once I learned that there was a rainbow, I look at his rainbow and it's like almost done. And I have like three pieces of pie because I always back like the same things. And I'm like, I don't have anything in like my dance pie. My goal was to fill the pie. 
and I did it. What was your da- what did you uh, contribute to dance wise? I actually remember this sort of. Uh, I think the dance was my uh, my friend Colby that I went to college. His cousin oh. was putting on a performance, so I gave a lot of money to that. That's cool. That's the fun thing is you can just give a little That's money cool. to you some can give stuff five bucks and, and, and just and then be part of the thing forever, which yeah. is which. Even if you just want to watch, you know, even if you don't necessarily want something from it, you know, to watch, to be part of the whole process is yeah. really, really There was one, there was a documentary I just backed the other day that was, I, I don't ever want to watch it. It looks t- <laughs> like, it looks <laughs> like, the, the, like, is there film, it's like these, it's, it's in the Ukraine, it takes place in the Ukraine and they're filming these like, you know, children that are being like, street children that are just like on drugs and just totally like messed up. And it's this guy who's trying to help these people children yeah. but like i can't but i was like I, i'll give you money but i don't want to i don't want any of the things like i don't want to like i don't want I don't anything really want from it. it but i want to help you make this because it should be brought to light but i can't watch it like i don't i, I i'll sit here and cry like i don't want to see all that but i'll definitely help support it you know <sighs> if i can so i like doing those little things even if it's like five bucks you can help somebody make their dream you know yeah it all it all adds up 10 bucks for somebody's dream to come true fred it's a good thing it and then rare. sometimes you can just go on Ow. and pre-order things that are fun that you might like can you on yourself. Can talk about the texture of that real quick too? It's got a really like gritty almost. It almost looks like a like an output, like it. It almost looks like it could be output texture. That's what I was thinking, but then some parts don't look that way. Um, and that is the future. Is the future those the printers? Well, I mean, people have been using printers for, to make toys I mean, for years. A, that's oh. definitely like digital output layers, but it like kind of works with what the thing is. Yeah, it so feels really like, neat and interesting. Yeah, it feels like it's good. an interesting sort of texture. Gr- yeah, it has a texture to it that makes sense with the with the creature. Exactly. In both the, the legs and in the pumpkin. Yeah. It's nice. It's a really nice piece. Well, some of these printers are color, right? Yes, you can print color resin. Well, hmm. it's not. It's a different kind of resin than what you would buy a resin toy out of. It's not um, hard like that. It, it is still breakable, pr- relatively breakable. But um, yes, you can get color printers but that's pretty expensive hmm. <laughs> like i believe mcfarlane has a color printer got it <laughs> kind of thing. that expensive yes we're, we're nowhere near being able to like i'll send you the diagram for this thing and you can print out a color version at your house and it'll work perfectly like we're not there yet we're on our way we will be though I mean, we're on our way just every time i sort of look at it again they've moved forward and things are more complex and you're like wow this is and we're getting to the point where getting you can almost just use services to, like, I made this thing, just print it out for me. You know, like, I think that's the first step. And then eventually home printers and... Yeah, people, you'll just, uh, then they, th- then, then the whole thing of actually making a 3D object will go away and, you know... They yeah, it won't just, be cool anymore. They, people will be able to pirate your file and, and just <laughs> print out your toy and you'll be, like, completely out of the loop. How weird would that be? <laughs> oh, that'd be so weird. I mean, that's the whole thing with the, the whole music thing and you know to some extent books and things that's which is true. terrifying you the, know the, the whole nice thing for music that. though yeah is even though these people like these people that are pirating your thing they then are become more and more fans of you and then they go to your show and then you make your money from the show money t-shirts the and money. your show money and like that's why concerts cost more because hmm. they need to make up for the money that they're not selling their cds anymore because people are stealing them yeah. Unfortunately, with toys, if someone can output your thing, have it on your shelf, you're not touring, and no one's going to see you. And like, so hopefully right, people so will still continue to support. <laughs> so, and you're gonna come see these rock stars. Well, there is. I mean, artists. there's Comic Con, and then that's where people come and support you. And hopefully, like, if they're if they're stealing your your thing and printing it out at home, hopefully they come to Comic Con right, and see you there. Get your rucksack. We're gonna get a bus. Uh, we're gonna start driving around America. Can't output plush. <laughs> you can't yet. You can't output plush yet. <laughs> It's all a yet. <laughs> Everything is a yet. All right. Speaking of other things. Speaking of Star Trek, you know. Wait, Star Trek? Huh? I was you know, about. the replicators or whatever. Oh they yeah, are, replicator. They, everything comes right out. Okay. Unless uh, you're on Voyager and then you have replicator <clears throat> rations, because you're stuck in Beta Quadrant. What is this? What is this, George? Is so this Secret is a box, box from Gus Fink, who oh. recently just had a Kickstarter Yay. that was successful. Yay! Uh, for his first art book. Oh. Um. So this is it has little cool little drawings. I won't show the drawings. Don't don't there. show that side because it's his it's address. Not the address. <laughs> it's your address. Yeah. You well. just showed the thing with your address. <laughs> well, we'll blur that out. <laughs> okay. All right. First we have fun things from Gus Fink. Yay! 
It's like a kid's show. It's just like a kid's show. <laughs> Alright, we've got prints. Actually, here. Careful with those. These are pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, let's spend time. Yeah, let's look at these. These are incredible. Well, I wanted you to see it so that we could comment <laughs> on it. I think that Wolverine is freaking awesome. Wolverine, Spider-Man, Duel to the Death. And then these are just like cool, creepy, Halloween-y... Halloween-y things. Book. <laughs> now, this is a book he wrote with his wife, um, Emmy Boz. It's called 44 Reasons Why I Love Cats. It's actually pretty funny. Read us one. <laughs> Uh, reason number three, how they seem to purposefully shove their dirty litter out of their box. <laughs> and it's got like a crazy little cat <laughs> stuff in it. So the I'll drawings are really funny. It's a little like the Cleveland cat books that I had when I was a kid. Cleveland? Why does that sound familiar? B. Cleveland? Do you remember those? That they sounds were familiar. Like, he did books like, 40, you really know, cute. 100 Things to Do with a Dead Cat. Oh! Swinging over your head and stuff. Yes. Oh, God, I thought those books were so funny when I was a child. I love the style. It's just yeah. so like crazy. Totally tweaked out. That's it. Yes. How they have to knock off every single Christmas ornament. Let me just tell you, his his Kickstarter video was awesome. Exactly like that art. It was just this <laughs> weird, like it, it was awesome. Like I, as soon as I watched it, I was like, all right, I'm I'm buying this guy's book. All right, here's some Creebles. <laughs> and you could go Kribbles. to Creebles.com for all this stuff too. I would imagine. We're on to a different thing. These are all Gus Fink. He does creepy also. He does everything. It Gus is. does everything. Oh, what are these ones? I don't know. Oh, that is, okay, that is oh Scantron God. Robot. Which is awesome. Do you guys still use Scantrons in school? They must, right? People, you know. must use Scantrons. I wonder so, how. Look at this, that material. I wonder how they take tests in schools. Man. It's on iPads, scary. I imagine. Yes, <laughs> they do. I'm sure no, they, they don't. Do, do you guys do I, that? Our neighbor kid who was i don't know how old every kid in school had an ipad every kid in or See, at least in I his class cool i don't know that. if I, I could say every kid in school but if, every if kid your in books school were had, on the ipad that'd be amazing i think they were because i, they, I don't know if you, well you i don't know if you had this problem of carrying books around like six books at a time in your backpack because we weren't well my high school didn't have lockers so we had to carry you didn't have lockers no we weren't allowed to have lockers it would encourage Why? graffiti Lockers would encourage graffiti? Yeah, so we had to carry around every single thing. Because you keep your spray cans in your locker? Oh, obviously that's where I would keep mine. So this is Artbot, Robot, Funbot, Scantron. Did they, did they, um, did they uh, weld them all shut so we you couldn't we use them? Any. Or they, we they, weren't they were all in. removed? No, I went to a newish high school oh. and they were not built in. We just weren't allowed to have lockers. This guy's so cool. I love this silver. Isn't that awesome? That silver's rad. And this is, oh, this is oh, a uh, Miko and Cola Soft Kitten Sculptures by Gus Fink. Soft Kitten Sculpture. It's a soft sculpture. Does he have a beanie butt or something? What? what he's, got, he's, got like he's got a, a little cardboard butt. He's got a little cardboard butt and there's, oh. there's something. There's, <gasps> there's weight in there of some sort, too. To make him sit nice and flat? Yeah. So these ones, uh, Miko and Cola, there's a comic book. There's a comic book. There's these little comics. Okay, so they have little comics, and there's also a companion app on the oh, iTunes the store. <laughs> here's the comic book. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the Silly Fun Adventures of Miko and Cola. They're so cute. Gus has an empire going here. Jeez, great. Look and I know he stuff. has even more stuff than this. He has little resin guys. This this is um, what I'm interested in because this is part of the Kickstarter. Okay, so yeah. So there's. <laughs> look at Dan. He's hoarding I'm it all. I'm covered in cat. <laughs> All right, so on the Kickstarter, you could back, I think it was, Who I don't the know, pickle are you? Five bucks. And oh. it was original art on sugar packets. Sugar packets. I actually Dude. have a, um, South oh, Salazar, I have a piece of his art on a sugar packet. Really? Really? That I bought at Giant oh. Robot at one point. That's awesome. It's These a thing. Great. So that was one of his things on Kickstarter was sugar packet art. Super cool. And one of those is from why Dunkin' did, Donuts. Why didn't I think of something that clever for my Kickstarter? And we don't have Dunkin' Donuts here, so that's rad. We have to drive to Arizona for Dunkin' Donuts. We got donuts in Germany one time. They were the worst donuts known to man. Really? Is that Dunkin' Donuts, too? They have Dunkin' Donuts in Germany? Dun they have Dunkin' Donuts everywhere in why the world. Why didn't you think of this, Dan? I'm a fool. You could do post-it notes. A fool! <laughs> so I'm Sugar fool. Packet Art goes between 5 and $10, or oh. 5 and $12 that's each. That's so cool. What a great idea. Art. Can we just look at... Um, this is Miko, right? This is the cuter one. 
No, this is the cuter one. Oh, this is the cuter one. They're pretty cute together, but she's got little, like, sad eyes. She's got a little moon. Moon, moon. is cute. Whoa, cuter. and then look at these. It's cute. It has a little I don't know if it's as cute as mouth. Star. Wait, there's more. There's but more. wait, there's more. Ghoulie Monsters. Oh, Ghoulie. Ghouliebags.com. That's G O O L I. Ghouliebags.com. These are Ghoulie Monsters, and it says in here the, these retail for 75 cents to a dollar. Look at them. Aha! What? How do I not get all of these? I want all of these. Oh. 75 cents? Look at these. There must be thousands of these. A buck a piece? We need to go and order all of them. They're just little awesome Gus Fink mini fans. I gotta go to ghouliebags.com and get them. And look I at these remember... cool little, like, it's like a print on one side. Like, it's a little thing, and then there's a little comic about the oh, character. Oh, that's cool. And then it folds up a to a nice comic. little mini comic about the dude. Oh my How gosh. How do you make all this stuff? He dude. just makes everything. And it's only his first art book and isn't it, that he's doing on Kickstarter. Say. Like, And he's got all this stuff. And he's got resin toys, it's I think resin on. toys and other toys. Oh my god. It's Ketchup. So much I stuff. will grade your test. Oh, I don't are, know if that's I what I guess he the does. books are digitally printed. Look at these. That's the other things. feature of the world: digital printing. Is that a thing? You know more about printing than. Yeah, I know a little about printing. Than we lot. do. What's the uh, the difference? Um, you know, you can do a lot shorter runs, and you know, it's we are gonna get to that point where the print on demand is like. I mean, maybe we are with some of this kind of stuff where you can do it and actually make money on like it. Like MagCloud? No, I don't know MagCloud. But That's where you can get is. Divulge Magazine. Now, wh what's the whole deal with Divulge Magazine? That is uh, Ben and Victoria's project. Is it? Life LA Lifestyle Magazine. Cover and a lot of like How does it get distributed? Did, did. Well, you can buy it from MagCloud.com and they print it on demand. And that was all the... Every one issue that's made is print on demand? Oh, you can also get a digital copy. Like just a PDF. Uh, so otherwise it's all made on demand yeah and it's pretty darn good quality i think yeah i saw one and i was like this is it it's like you legit magazine you can kind of tell it's print on demand but at the same compared time compared to what i think it used to be yeah huh i think it's gotten a lot better so these, wow let me tell you these little pvcs are really fun they're great. really nice look at how scantron they have um like cardboard in the butt so they can actually sit down sit flat which is really great and this Scantron, aside from having the cool silver material, has black vinyl feet, yeah. which really add to the... Oh, yeah, look at that. The he's, aesthetic. He's just super cool and weird. And his mouth is a little Oh, furry. and it's a little felt on that. He's kind of, the, like, the most unique. Not, the, I mean, it, all of Gus's stuff is unique, but, like, how can you not want this guy? It's very different. It's very... Di it's a, and just a soft sculpture that cracks me up. GusFink.com. Oh. Contact him. Ask about custom art, too. You guys should be looking at his stuff. It's cool. Gus should be at DesignerCon. That'd be rad. Where does he live? Uh, good question. Not sure. We have a oh, wait. We could know. information on that, I believe. Uh, Pennsylvania. 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 Hey, we have people come from Japan. We have someone coming in from Australia. We got the UK. Probably other things. I know we've had Russia and New Zealand in the past. I'm coming all the way from Hollywood. That's like over the hill. <laughs> over the hill. That's farther than anybody. They just have to take an airplane. You have to go over the hill. The hell. Ugh. Horrible. Ugh. Just horrible. All right, so we have a ton Passing of stuff here. You guys should go check out Gus's stuff. What do you think about all this? I'm, I'm completely impressed. I want all of it. The quality is, awesome. you know, just super nice quality stuff. It's always just amazing what... These two are so cute. What independent artists can get away with. You so know. go check out their stuff. Again, that's Creebles.com. Uh, which one was the Creebles? Creebles. We've got Creebles. Actually, and these ones are just regular plush. These don't have little beanie or soft butts or anything. They're just cute little... I want to do a silver doll now. You can. <laughs> oh, cool. You don't have a robot in the Mr. Toast universe. Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. What's his name? Robot. <laughs> Why can't I think of a robot he's, in the... uh, He's Space Duck's... Uh, oh, Space Duck. Counterpart. Counterpart. You don't draw him as much. No. That's probably why I don't... He's not in, like... Yeah, he's never appeared in anything, but... Okay. I draw him every once okay. in a while. I drew him. I, I drew him on my day of drawing on Facebook. Did you miss my Recently? day? Recently? Yeah. I did a... <laughs> I usually would see your stuff like, on Flickr. Uh, like two days ago... Yeah, I just put him on Flickr, too. Two days oh. ago, I did a... On Facebook, I did a drawing every hour from 6 a.m. till 11 a.m. 11 p.m. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It drove me insane. <laughs> <laughs> That's that like day fun. with toy break hours. It was... It was, you know... Yes. It's good to do that to yourself, though, sometimes, because you just push yourself. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's fun, you know. You just make an arbitrary decision to do something and you do it and you learn a little something about it's, yourself. You learn not it to do that again. It succeeds or it doesn't <laughs> succeed. Well, they have a thing called 24-hour comic day. Right. Where you where you're supposed to create an entire comic in a 24-hour span and I did that oh one. Oh my year. gosh. And I've been tempted to do it again and this was a sort of thing to a sort test of. To That's see. really fun. Well, yeah. So you're going to do it? <laughs> well, my my buddy Todd that I I do the comics with at some point, you know, maybe when he's out here because he lives in Virginia. We if he was, you know, if he was out for like a non day before comic book day, yeah, we, we would do it. Nice, because we could fit it, it would, in. It, yeah, and we could get away with it. You know, he, we would sort of write it together, and then he would pencil, and I'd be inking, and then he'd be coloring. You know, we'd we could trade off on all the stuff and really and different. do it, and it'd be super fun. All right, so one last time on Gus Fink, that was creebles.com. You can get all the links in the show notes. And uh, Ghouly Bags. Ghouly Bags. I'm going to go and see if there's any more. Because if there's any more, I'm ordering them. There was the art prints. There was the books. There was uh, these guys, uh, Miko and Cola. And you can get their app on the iTunes store for your iDevice. iDevice. Super cute. I think it's only like 99 cents. And you could go get Mr. Toast's app. You can get my crazy game. I did a game. You did. You can just go buy it on the iTunes store. 99 cents, right? And it's hard. It's, it is it's hard. Really hard. I Why'd know. you make it so hard? Because I, I, I worked on the game for so long and I <laughs> played it so much, it didn't seem as hard. So, <laughs> so. I remember when you brought it to the tournament, you were like, yeah, you just go this, 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 this. And I'm like, uh. I yeah. <laughs> but it's still fun. People still come up to me and say, we play your game and it's fun. It is fun. And it's cute, and it was it was a super fun experience to do. You know, it's like every time you you move into a new arena. Yes. Would you do another one? Uh, I would do something else, maybe for a different type of game. Do maybe not a game, but do something. Do something. Like Mr. Else. Toasterize yourself or something. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Something else. Just yeah. something else. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. At I some know. point when I have time, I'll maybe stop and think about it again. Well, you've got uh, so many other things going on. But there's other fun things to pursue right now. and uh, Maybe 2014. 2014 is looking pretty clear, so... Okay. We'll I'll, see. I'll, I'll mark you down for that. Should we get one more thing or save that? Um, what's up to you? Well, what do you think? Let's do it. Let's All right. Here. Let's do it. One more thing. One more thing. And it's awesome, Bear. And it's from one of our sponsors. <gasps> Oh, Dragatomi. Sponsors. It's from. Tell the people about it. Uh, this is from Dragatomi. Uh, this is in their line of original things that they're putting out, okay. and this is designed by Philip Lumbang. The sculpt is by Walter Chuskowski. Chalk dog. <laughs> Chalk dog. Um, and it's produced by Dragatomi. It's a six-inch vinyl figure with two points of articulation, limited to only three hundred pieces. They are fifty dollars. And I believe this debuted at Comic Con. Yes, and it's called Hug Life. It's called Awesome Bear, but also Hug Life. Ah, I can't get him out of his little thing. Oh my God! You like that smell? It's horrible. I love that smell. Are you kidding me? (laughs) Oh my God! It kind of smells like um, awesome. Smells like mothballs. What? That doesn't smell like mothballs. Oh, it totally smells chemically That's, like mothballs. It smells like chemical vinyl goodness. Isn't he cute? Chemical vinyl goodness. I've lost you know, a lot of brain smells. You know, the planet just shed a tear hearing that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I think this is a super cute little figure. I like, you know, the awesome bear art. Perfect size. It's a perfect size. It's, uh, what, six inches? Uh, did you say it's 300 pieces? I did. 300 pieces, okay, $50. Great. And, like, and it's white, yeah, so it'll never get dirty. <laughs> no, it'll never get dirty. <laughs> well, if you look on the side here, it, there's a white bear, a black bear, and then a panda-looking bear that's white and black. So oh. I'm guessing mm. something might be coming. I love how simple the design is because it really keeps the like, the aesthetic of the original drawing in the, the 2D piece. But then, you know, adding articulation stuff really makes it... <laughs> Wow. I know it had two points of articulation. I knew it was going to work. Okay. These are the only two. Look, and he can... Why didn't anyone tell me my ass was so wide? Nope. Kind of reminds me of the old Pogo figures. Why do I know that name? Do you know what Pogo is? Like the st- like the Pogo stick? Like, what are you talking about? What's he talking about? George. Do you know what Pogo is? No. Oh, my God. I don't Pogo, know Pogo is an old uh, newspaper comic. 
and they made in the like 1969 they made some figures of all the characters oh. and they had the same sort of oh i know the characters you've probably seen them yeah they're like really early, vi- they're vinyls but you know early like, you know 1969 or whatever that's back they, when there were only a few vinyls but they came attached to uh to uh, like detergent boxes so they shrink that and do detergent oh Proc- nice oh, they're procter and gamble Awesome. A similar pose to those. Why aren't, why aren't companies doing that now? We need some detergent companies to jump in and make some toys. Or anything that's not like a DVD. Because now, George, you're the one who always compares it to the box art. Because they'd rather spend the money. It's fantastic. They'd rather spend the money on commercials than they would putting a toy in the box. Mm. They think that that's better money spent. I disagree. Also, you don't really get toys <laughs> in cereal anymore. No. You get like educational books or something pamphlets i don't know what you get in there yeah well i think probably those things you know when they do those book things it's like a, you know it's not it's, they're trying to incentivize you know reading or whatever like that right and i thoroughly am for reading what but i also am for toys we're all for toys so we're all for toys especially tiny little plastic toys that kids can choke on and things yeah that's the main oh wait reason. what no no I'm being facetious. No. We don't want that. This is a great figure. And There's that not, is a beautiful figure. Not a lot more to say about it, but I would keep an eye on... Uh, you can go buy one at dragatomi.com. Click on the link on Toy Break. You can uh, watch her work. I'm assuming there will be more colors. I can only imagine because the box... And it's called great. Hug Life! Hug Life! It's actually really nice. Nicely made. Really nice figure. Like and that's it. from Cranky Pants. <laughs> cranky? He's not cranky just very uh, discerning. Oh, he's very, he's very discerning. Do you have any gray poupon? Do you think because just because the bear is white, people are going to be like, I want to customize it. Probably. <laughs> Even though it's not, doesn't need to be. I don't know, $50 custom fodder? He's really cool. The first time I ever saw this character was actually up at Dragatomi when I went with Scott to his show. They had just had a show with him, I think. Or had recently had a show, and he had a big drawing on one of their doors. I've seen the drawings. Yeah, it's really, it's really drawings cool. Drawings are great. He likes to hang out with Vince. We're all hanging out oh, on the like toy break <laughs> table. There's a little raccoon guy oh. up there. There's one with like tattoos back there. Like, you, there's the possibilities are endless with this <laughs> colorways. All right. Well, you know what's not endless is this show. All right. Let's end it then. Let's get on to some events. <laughs> Dragon Con, the largest multimedia popular con- culture convention focusing on science fiction, fantasy, gaming, comics, literature, art, music, film, spanning four hotels in downtown Atlanta. Uh, this is in Georgia, and it's August 30th through September 2nd, dragoncon.org. And not long after is PowerCon, TMNT, He-Man, She-Ra, and Thundercats fan convention at the Marriott South Bay in Torrance on September 14th and 15th, thepower-con.org. And uh, we will not be vending, but George and I will be hanging out all weekend and going to panels and listening to voice actors and hanging out with Four Horsemen and filming and talking to people and hanging out with Pixel Dan. And um, I just it's going to be a good time. I just saw on the forum that the Warriors of the Ring, those little, the yeah, yeah, little yeah, wrestling Warriors, resin guys are going to be there. Warriors of the Mist. Whatever mystical it's called. Warriors, mystical Warriors of the Ring. Yeah, they're going to be there. those guys. With some Good, stuff. maybe I can buy something. I'm sure you can. Wow. Yay. I'm sure there will be potentials for buying things. There will be. There will be. There will Potentials. Be. Potential. There will be. <laughs> all right. Well, that wraps it up for episode. I have all my table space is gone. 274. Don't forget, you can save money with toy break coupons online. Stay. They work at the grocery store? Hang out there. What? Grocery store? Nothing. Coupons. <laughs> coupons. Oh. You can check the show notes at toybreak.com for all the details, and you can also get links to everything we talk about. Look at all this table full of goodness. You can also watch past episodes. You can join the contests and the rousing toy discussions in the forum. You can check out the goodies page. There's freebies on there like Toy Break Paper Toys by Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castlefort. You can totally help support the show by just doing what you do every day, which is shopping online. Just click the Amazon link on toybreak.com. Do your Amazon shopping as normal. That's it. Helps out the show. We really, really? appreciate it. It does. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, a friend of mine years ago was got... He had a Dr. Seuss collecting site back when they just Ooh. started those things, and they had he had links on there, and he was making like three hundred dollars a month just based on the you know this was I'm right, sure the right. programs have so completely changed. Since wow, then. 
That's he is nice. Making major bank. That's awesome. Well, we're not paying rent or anything with it, but it sure helps keep the lights <laughs> going and the video rolling and internet happening so that we can get Toy Break out to you. You can also call and leave us a voicemail at A18AMIGOOD. You can email us info at toybreak.com. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. Check out our toy briefs, toy girls, and full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on many different social networks. You can follow us on Twitter at toybreak. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. You said yours uh, earlier. The Mr. Toast. Yes. Twitter.com slash The Mr. Toast. Twitter. And Facebook.com slash Mr. Toast 23. There's links to all of it in the show notes. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look up Mr. Toast. I'm sure it'll be on there somewhere. <laughs> you can always go to uh, <laughs> Mr. Toast.blogspot.com. <laughs> Which is Mr. Toast.com, isn't it? Mi- uh, yeah, Mr. Toast. M I S T E R. That's the easiest. M R Toast is a guy that does heavy metal art. <laughs> Really? Has his own decapitated head as the initial image. It's very funny. <laughs> and very not what people are looking for if they're looking for you. I'm sure I'm sure he like curses me in the night sometimes, even though he hasn't like updated the site in like five years. You know, I'm sure uh, he was like, Oh, is that guy that does that darn stupid you, Mr. Toast. thing that's stupid. <laughs> It's always funny when you do those things, you know, it's like people that have your name and and then you know, have to suffer through all of your garbage your weirdness that you oh, put out weirdness. <laughs> you know like they search their name they're like i'm 1000th on here and there's one tiny picture of me and all this weird stuff i'm sure many of you in the, the audience have experienced that before sure. anyway um that's <laughs> it for episode 274 do you have anything else you'd like to uh recap or pimp or kickstarter check out, check out the kickstarter vince just check vince or mr toast or dan goodsell or one of those things and you could just type toast that easy? Or just say toast. It's the magic. It's the word of the day. Toast. Yeah. You can't have any. It's got gluten. Okay. Gluten You're one free. of those non gluten people. Is, do you have gluten free, Mr. This, toast? Vince yes. is gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could do a gluten free, Mr. Toast. Thank you. I, man, wow, that's very clever of you. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, we will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy channel. Bye, everyone.